Looking at the last problem on the worksheet, which says you have 3.2 grams of aluminum reacts with 5.4 grams of chlorine to produce aluminum chloride. Calculate the mass of the excess reactant that remains after the reaction is complete. So first, as always, let's write the reaction. We have aluminum reacting with chlorine. It's a diatom, so it's Cl2. And they're producing aluminum chloride. So we're looking at a synthesis reaction. Aluminum and chlorine. If they swap charges, aluminum has a plus three. Chlorine has a minus one, so AlCl3. We're looking to balance this. My aluminum's are already balanced, but I have two chlorines and three chlorines. So the only way to balance these two is to get them both to six. So we have three and we have two. Next, we write what we were given. So we're given 3.2 grams of aluminum, and then we're given 5.4 grams of chlorine. Now, typically, I would put a question mark somewhere, but it's telling us to calculate the mass of the excess reactant that remains after the reaction is complete. I don't know which one is the excess reactant. So the first thing we have to do is figure out who is the excess reactant, and then we can look at how much are we using up, and from that, we can look at how much is remaining. So there are many steps in this problem. So first, let's figure out who is the excess reactant. So we're going to compare both of these amounts to how much of the product we're going to produce. So we're going to take both of these, and we're going to go to grams of this. I'm going to write 3.2 grams of aluminum. I'm going to put that over 1. Going to convert grams of aluminum to moles of aluminum and get the mass from the periodic table. Once I have moles, I can go into my mole ratio. I'm going to go for two moles of the product. So that's a one to two. And then lastly, I can go from moles of aluminum chloride to grams of aluminum chloride, which one mole is equal to 133.33 grams of aluminum chloride. And I get 15.81 grams of aluminum chloride. And I'm gonna go to my other reactant, 5.4 grams of chlorine over one. So I'm looking at grams of chlorine to one mole of chlorine. And notice the two is here, so you need to make sure that you're writing the mass of two chlorines. Go straight into our mole ratio now that we have moles, so moles of chlorine to moles of aluminum chloride. That is a three to two ratio. And then we can go into grams. of aluminum chloride. If we do the math here, 6.77 grams of aluminum chloride. So what does this tell us? This tells us that the excess reactant is aluminum, the limiting reagent is chlorine. Okay. So just for my own purposes, I'm going to write ER here and LR here. So to remind me which is which. So we want to know how much of our excess reactant remains after the reaction is complete. So now we need to figure out how much of this are we actually using. So we need to go from grams of chlorine to grams of aluminum. So we're going to set this up. 5.4 grams of chlorine. Let's move this up a bit. Put that over 1. Convert this to moles. Go into my mole ratio, so moles of chlorine to moles of aluminum, which is 3 to 1 if we look at our equation. And then we can go from moles of aluminum to grams of aluminum, which is 26.98 that I got from the periodic table. 
I do the math, I get 1.37 grams of aluminum. Now that's aluminum used. We want to know what remains. So the last step that we're going to have to do here is take what we were given, which we were told that we were given 3.2 grams of aluminum. We're going to subtract what's used, which is 1.37 grams of aluminum. And we'll get 1.83 grams of aluminum. And that's remains. Or you can say that it's left. So this is the unused aluminum.